What's going on guys, it's Westrom here and in today's video we are going to be opening a Series 1 Mega Box for Fortnite. Now these boxes are very hard to find, these are printed in Italy which is why you can see the very bad wrapping. Although they're wrapped bad, this was for a quality check and they're still the most expensive Fortnite box to ever exist besides the USA version. The USA version is going to get you up to like $1,500 right now at a max they were going for two, three grand. So this box right here they generally sell around $200 at this point I would say and I was lucky enough to get it for 120 but man am I excited to open this drop a like and subscribe if you want more videos like this but here we go into a series one mega box now I don't know if the odds are down here uh but yeah they are rare in every pack epic in every six packs and a legendary in every 12 packs and a foil will come in every 24 so we only get 12 packs in this box so we may not see a foil card but you are guaranteed two crystal shards which is basically what the entire box is in, like all about so here we go this is a series one box i will actually be starting a youtube channel dedicated to fortnite cards and other cards of course but for now it's only fortnite cards i will link it down below in the description so if you guys want more videos like this just check it out in the description down below and you'll be chilling so let's go ahead and take off the wrapping box. It's a little caved in at the top. I hope that doesn't mess with the quality of the cards, but I'm going to open this box. I'm going to feel for the shard and hide it so I cannot see it whatsoever. I've got a blank letter right here, which I can actually grab the shard pack out of and hide it behind. But I promise you guys, I will not be looking at whatever is behind this envelope. Not until the very end, but they're right there. You guys can see I've taken out the thing and all you can see are the packs now let's go ahead and take out the packs and i'll put the mega box to the side as the mega box will still be a collectible 9 12 packs including our two shards so here we go we're going to be opening our first pack now hopefully these are not as hard to open as they used to be because when i first started opening these cards they were extremely hard to open at least the italy ones usa is a bit easier but italy i always had a little bit of a rough time getting into but here we go so already you guys can see we get a harvesting tool at first the angular axe scarlet defender number 137 and we also get our very own cypher and that is our rare so you guys can see right now we're not getting a bunch of cards for our buck but that's because usually the crystal shards is what comes down to the money unless you pull like a really good hollow so i'm telling you right now i would not go out and buy one of these if you're you know a kid or a, a young teen watching my channel if you're an adult really trying to invest in cards this is probably the play for you but you won't know until we see what i pull so we get an uncommon uh prickly patroller we get a we get a clinger which has the little plunger and it's the explosive you attach to people and then they all go kaboom and then we have our radiant striker which is our rare from that pack so every pack should have a rare which we have pretty much confirmed we have cypher and him we have 10 more packs to go in this and then we will be looking to open our crystal shard, which will be a very either big loss or big win for me. I don't know until we see what cards are in it. So there's a scorpion. Oh wait, this is armadillo. The other one's scorpion, the girl version. And then this is our rare. So if we do end up pulling a hollow, I'm pretty sure how it works is we'll, that'll be like the first thing we see out of the back of the pack. Uh, in US, they don't do it that way. But in Italy, for some reason, that is the way they wanted to do it. Like, you see your go-to... Well, already we see one there. This isn't a hollow because it's facing the right way. But we have our Ginger Gunner, and that is our Epic. So that's a pretty good Epic to pull. That was four packs in, and we pull our Epic. They give you a checklist. They actually give you Reflex as a rare, too. Which, if you guys know, Fresh, this is Fresh's go-to skin. And pretty good cards. So definitely our best card now our ginger gunner so we're gonna put that at the top of our bulk pile i'm putting our best cards at the top and then all the bulk at the very bottom we'll go right back over that at the very end or you know what i'll lay them right out here so you guys can see them all these are our rares epics we'll have a pile for legendaries and i guess we'll mix up our legendaries and hollows but who even knows if we get a hollow it takes 24 packs to pull one 
So if we even pulled one from a mega box, that would be pretty good. Let's try the other side. This, the Italy packs, I'm telling you guys, they're really tough to open for me. I don't know why, but there we go. We got it. We already saw our rare. We know we don't really have anything else. Like, you even get a pistol card, which isn't the best. But, I mean, we got our jump shot. Not bad. I know my friend likes basketball in my house. So, when I opened up a hobby box for Series 1 before, he was our hollow, and he got super excited about it. And that was a good time. But, of course, you know me, if you open up an entire Series 1 hobby box and that's your hollow, a little disappointing because, you, of course, you want a legendary hollow like Black Knight, Red Knight... Something of that nature and when you're paying you know 50 60 dollars a box pretty expensive okay so i can actually give you guys a story about this skin you guys can obviously see there is no whistle now this is officially printed this is not like an error i guess it is an error but he's supposed to not have a whistle which seems kind of weird now there is somebody in a facebook group who has prototype cards where the whistle is actually included so it was a production error and they had it right the first time so that that's always a pretty cool story to tell that that skin is messed up but someone actually has the right version which is pretty cool to know and i guess i'll put him there too because it in the end it's kind of an error card and if you get a good grade on it i guess it could be worth more i don't think it's wor uh, worth grading now but eventually oh we got a blue squire but like i was saying eventually it could be a gradable card just because of that error oh burst rifle and our blue square, not a bad rare to get. We still need a legendary. This is our eighth pack. I would really love to see an epic within here. And guys, look at this. I'm really trying to open it. There we go. My goodness. Super hard to open for no reason. I guess they're really packaged in there good, making me hope there's no Italy corners on it. Which there is. Wow, look at that one. Really damaged at the bottom here. Very, very damaged. Uh, there's the scorpion I was mentioning earlier, but no hollow. And even then, that was a very damaged card. At least the rest, like the ginger gunner, you guys can actually see as a comparison. Not that damaged down there. It's a little white like an it Italy corner, which is that's what it's called when you open Italy cards. Usually that's pretty apparent. It wasn't that bad, which is good because it was our epic. But please give us another epic here. I'm feeling really left out of some good cards. All right, not an epic, but people do like this skin. It's not very desired, but people do like rocking it. There's a six shooter. We have ourselves a Crimson Scout. And our last one, which people do rock uh, Dazzle a lot, but it's not like she's super desired. So hopefully with these last three packs, we pull something really nice before we get to those crystal shards. We don't really know until they're pulled. So, <gasps> oh my God, we got a Black Knight. We actually got a Black Knight. Holy cow. Well, that paid for the box. GG's guys. Oh my goodness. I don't even care what's in here now. We got a Black Knight. Let's go. It's not hollow, but that pays for the entire maybe a little curved yeah there's a little ding in it tiny little ding the smallest ding but look at that guys oh and there's a little ding up here too yikes double ding black knight but that's not that bad like for a grade i'd probably say like an eight maybe a nine but the corners are really really bad i don't know if it'd get a nine let's go ahead and put it in here hopefully not dinging that other corner while we do this we will sleeve that Black Knight and also top load it. But man, I am so excited we pulled that. That is an excellent pull, especially... I know it's Italy, so it's not worth as much as the USA one, but that is a solid card to pull. Especially since, like, the box is a hundred something dollars. I better hope I pull something good, right? But that paid for the entire box right there. Black Knight at the moment is the most... <gasps> oh my god! A holo legendary! What the heck is happening? my god holy cow let's go ahead let's check the back we have heim very very good card and it's a legendary hollow the corner has a little bit of whitening there a little whitening at the left corner top right corner and a little bit white at the top so every corner in this card is not good but it's a hollow and it's legendary so that is a very very solid pull and then, of course, we don't really care about any of the rest. Six Shooter, again. And we have our Sergeant. Or no, it's our Major. Wow. Can't believe it. So we have this card here. 
and a Black Knight from one Mega Box. So this last pack, we can assume maybe has an Epic, but it doesn't even matter at this point if it has an Epic. Nope, no Epic. Just a regular Rare, but I'm fine with that. This box was actually insane. And then we have our, I guess I called it the Sergeant. We have our Sergeant at the very end. I knew that was coming. You guys saw that, right? I definitely called that. But here we have our two shards. Now I'm not sure exactly how I'm gonna do this because I'd rather see the bad card first and then the good card, but there's no way to tell that while opening this. So I'm just gonna go from here. We'll go from the bottom. Okay, so we have a red. I'm gonna assume if I flip this over, the red card may be the good one, but we'll see. I don't know if there's any purples that are, like, super good. Okay, so that's not too good, but we gotta hope the card in back is a red knight. I'm That's what I'm assuming it is, but you can't really tell. It could really be anything there. Alright, here we go. Oh, it's a ruckus. So not the best cracked ices. Definitely not the best. Two cracked ice that aren't really desired. I don't know if I even want to open it at this point. Do I open it, guys? I can already see it here. That card looks decent quality. At least the cracked ices weren't, you know, bad corners. But I don't think I'm going to open it. I don't think this is worth opening just because they're not, like, super desired skins. I could probably sell them as a set better. Uh, and on top of that, they're sealed, so the quality should be pretty good on shipping and everything. But we got our Black Knight, which already pays for the box, and then this. So you bet your bottom dollar I'm gonna sell this Black Knight and buy even more packs because I am so happy about that. That is so insane. I gotta get my brother in here and show him because that is actually crazy. All right, come here. So I opened a Italy blaster, or I mean Italy mega box, right? These go for about, these go for about a hundred, like $200 at this point. I spent 120 on mine. And you know how I pulled the USA Black Knight? So this is my USA one. Look what I pulled in the Italy one. Good condition too. Yep. Uh, there's a little bit issues with the corners. The corners are the only bad part, I'd say, and that's with every Italy card, I think. The USA one, you can obviously see it's way cleaner than the Italy one. And then I also pulled a Legendary Hollow, and you get one in every 24 packs. A Mega Box only has 12, so this was an insane box to open. Not only did I get a Black Knight, a Hollow, and two Crystal Shards, which weren't the best, but they're probably about 20 bucks each or so. This is the big card. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed. Make sure you smash the like button and subscribe if you guys want more of this. I still can't believe we pulled an Italy Black Knight, a Hollow Heim Legendary, a Ginger Gunner Epic, which I'll sleeve and top load after this, and two Cracked Ice that are, they're like rare and epic but it's all good i mean still pretty good cards but thank you guys so much for watching and i will see you guys in the next one